Hey, this is Bang for Buck BC Gamer, and this is my Mantle versus DirectRx head-to-head -head comparison video. So I've already done a video like this, but this was when Mantle was initially released, and that was with um, a quite unstable and buggy 14.1 beta driver from AMD, and also Dice had some problems with different contrast levels and um, missing textures and other bugs so I thought it was worth doing another video considering that Battlefield 4 has been patched quite a bit since that time and also AMD have now moved on to their 14.7 beta driver so what is Mantle? Mantle is a new low level API specifically geared for AMD's graphics core next architecture so AMD cards such as the 700 series and above can use um, Mantle. So you know, AMD claim it will enable 9 times more draw calls per second than other APIs by reducing CPU overhead. It enables higher graphics performance with direct access to all GPU features, new rendering techniques, leveraging optimization work from next-gen game consoles to PCs. So how does all of this help Battlefield 4 I wonder? Well, I've done my best to kind of show um, the performance difference between DirectX and Mantle by putting um, both uh, gameplay runs of Battlefield 4 side by side and trying to keep them in sync as best as possible. Now, there will be times when it will be out of sync, but I've deliberately um, stayed in specific areas for a lengthy period of time so you can have a chance to look at you know the games at the exact same spot and seeing if there is a difference in frames Apology per second. Drop. Damn it, Riker. I'm gonna shot you in the face. You lost your tail. <gasps> Ease up, Pack. Where the hell you been? After the handoff went pear shape, I came straight here. They were Russians, right? Spec ops, one second they're there, the next they're not. Take deep breaths, son. You got the intel? Yeah, yeah, got it. Nice play. <sighs> Shit. It's already daylight. We gotta get to the extraction point. You got a 20 on Irish? I thought he was with you. I'm breaking radio silence. Tombstone 3, Tombstone Actual. What's your 20? Tombstone Actual. Inbound from the north. Coming in hot. Crush the oh, cover fire. On my retreat. Clean copy, Irish. We got you. Rock gear up and get ready. So, let me just quickly talk about my setup before I dive into things. I'm using an AMD R9 290, which is overclocked to 1200 MHz on the core and 1600 MHz on the memory. I'm also using a 3570K, which is overclocked to 4.7 GHz and 8 GB of uh, DDR3 on Corsair, which is also running at 1866 MHz. Incoming. See so, him. let's see if things have improved since um, my first tested mental right, in the 14.1 beta driver. Two more on the left. Drop em. So it's moments like these you can directly compare the performance because you know, both scenes are rendering the same Anything thing at the same time. The same specific spot in the game. Yeah. So I can see that. You know, it's mental's got the edge for about four to five FPS, sometimes a bit more. So, you know, you know, AMD have well, it does work basically. That's all I can say. So, it's looking good so far. Tombstone on the move. Fortress, this is Tombstone Actual. We got the package, but stirred up a hornet's nest. Moving towards extraction. Roger that, Tombstone. You lose inbound. Get your squad in position. Out. Low, in the atrium. They haven't spotted us. We'll take them out together. Tag them and give the signal. New signal and we'll shoot the target. Give me a sit rep. Uh, Fudged up, but I'm up. 
No way around. Get down there. Like I said, at times the video won't be in sync, but I have, you know, tried to duplicate the run as best as possible. At the moment, it seems Mantle's got at least a five okay? FPS advantage. All right, make it sing. Which is Fire in the hole, know, just from changing from direct X to mantle in with a flick of a switch in the in the menu option. Actually pretty decent. Good to hear you, Hawkins. We're making progress. So there it is guys. Mantle does work it seems and it's a very very small boost on my system but um it's good to see. It's good to see it actually works. So let me know what you think in the comment section and if you think it's worth it. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video.